G'day folks, we're just leaving San Bernardino in a uh, MP36 and we're about to head up over the ramp. This is a tutorial about photo mode. I thought I'd better pop that in there before you started to wonder. So you can see there's a freight train sitting under the ramp over there, so uh, this could be a good opportunity for a photo. It's an interesting time of the day, early morning. The sky's blue and so forth. So let's get her up to the top of the ramp. And I think we might stop her up there. But do we need to stop her? Nah, probably not. Just get her in about the right spot. And then we'll go into photo mode and I'll show you some of the new features for Train Sim World 5. This photo mode's had a few adjustments. Alright, this looks pretty close, so let's just uh, control F10 for photo mode. And we can see it's automatically gone onto our train. The freight train's over here. It would probably be a more interesting comp position if we were along over here somewhere though. Let's see there's a few more freight locomotives over there. Where's the sun? The sun's up there. Okay, so we really want to be on this side, don't we? Because you know you want the sun roughly behind you. So it would probably be cool if the uh let's go down a bit more. Alright, let's put that about there. So the first thing is well, this is a fairly, fairly okay sort of spot for the shot. We might go over here a little. I just want to see that mountain in the background, but I want to see some other bits too. So, uh, and not so much of the, the minky stuff. So let's come down a little bit. There you go, I can still see the mountain. Now, I've got a bit of a problem. Because my train's not actually here. It's not in the shot anymore. So let's just pop into our different views here. So we've got the same things we had before with the depth of field and the focal point. So we can demonstrate how that goes in and out of focus. Um, it is actually a bit better now. It works more like a camera, which is kind of cool. So I just drag this one over, set the focus in the right place. We want to set manual focus as well. So just set this somewhere nice about there. And then we can, uh, just get onto that. We can have crispy or blurry. All right, let's start with crispy. Now let's pop into this menu. Now, train's not here, but you know, I want it to be. So I'm just going to keep pushing this button until it gets over here, because it will. Might take a little while, because I did leave it a bit far away. You can see it's shadow coming now. So it's getting pretty close. Every time you press the advance button, it, it moves forward about, I don't know, probably half a second or so. Seems that way anyway. So we're getting getting along. Here's our train. Oh look at the look at look at the physics happening to that. Look at the little the, the hose bags on the front going, wah, wah. All right, so we are powered by renewable fuel. We are Metrolink. Let's set this up a little bit better. Let's uh, come down a little bit. I don't actually see my power lines and stuff anymore because I put the train in the way. So maybe I need to rethink this shot a little bit because I might have advanced the train a bit too far. So let's uh, come up a bit. I don't know how I got rid of the uh, overlay there, but there you go. We did. So how did we get rid of the photo mode overlay? There it is. We press Z. That was silly. Okay. Now, you know, I'm kind of looking at the light going, hmm, I'm not a real fan of this. So maybe we try and come back a little bit, a little bit in time. So five. Hmm, too dark. What about five o'clock? Well, that's not bad. Six o'clock, that's where we kind of where we were. And it's kind of not bad. Well, let's just leave it there, actually. 
But what we might do is let's bring this back. Oh, that's a bit earlier. Okay. Oh, now we're talking. Yes, now we're talking. Good. And with the presets, how about a bit of fog? Do a bit of fog. How's that? That's too much. Too much. Yeah. Mm, it's a bit too much on the fog. Too much still. That's looking a bit better. And we need some clouds, I think. Can't see the clouds. It's too much fog. Let's get rid of the fog. Let's just get rid of the fog completely. Come on. Oh, now we're starting to look with some colour. Come on. I'm going to take that back to zero. All right. We do actually need a little bit of fog, I think. Just a tiny bit. Let's try 1%. Can we do 1%? Maybe. Come on. It is a little bit finicky. Six will be too much. I want one. No, one. Whoop. One. Come on. One. 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 There we go. That's got it. Right. Now, I'm still not quite happy with my uh, location. And I think maybe we just maybe need a little bit of rain. A little bit. It's giving the surfaces a bit of a, a wetty texture here and there. It's not making that much difference in this shot, really. Cloud's pretty cool now. So let's go back to our normal things. So I'm not quite happy with the shot where we are now. So if we hand around a little bit, we'll actually be able to look into the sun a little bit now and we can get some bit of glare off our lights. Let's just come up a bit. And now we're talking. Now we're talking. And I want to go over here a bit. Still can't go to the right yet. I've got to come up a bit higher. There we go. And now we're starting to talk. Got a nice sky, nice bit of light there. I might want to come down a bit though. Now that I'm on this side of the track. Come back this way a little. Yeah, that's okay. That's looking pretty good actually. Kind of liking that. But I want to dull my corners down a little bit. So let's uh let's just black down the corners a little. Let's just boost the saturation just a touch, just to get that sun at about a nice spot. There we go, we've got a nice bit of red there now. Brightness is maybe a touch high. Bring that down just a little bit. That's pretty good. And we can do our uh, our black and whites if we want to with sepia. Not actually a fan of that effect. If you like a bit of film grain, you can uh, pop some in if you want. I kind of don't like a bit of film grain though. This is digitalis, of course. But, you know, let's just have a touch of it, just a tiny bit. And I think we come back to these controls now. So I don't want to do anything rotation. What about motion blur? Start adding a bit of motion blur in. It's hard to see what difference that's actually making. It's making a little bit of difference on the train, I think. Rotation, I'm pretty happy with where we are. Now, our focal point, I want it to be on the actual train. Let's just get this right. There we go. And our depth of field. Let's bring that down a bit. A bit more. So we weren't in manual focus mode, which is a bit silly. Now, just want to bring that on to... There's my trains right. Yeah, depth of field. A bit fluffy. What if we'd make it crispy? Got like fluffy better. I think that might be our shot, actually, but... Yeah, I think that's probably it. I'll probably crop it a little bit, but I think that's probably it. So let's take the shot. There we go. Take our shot. And we will save and upload that one. And the world comes back to normal. 
we'll be able to continue on our way. So this is just a bit of an idea of some of the things you can now do with photo mode. This may not ever upload because I'm actually running in the uh, test environment. No, oh, it was published. There you go. So, and the world has now returned back to its normal look and feel. So we can come out of photo mode and let our train continue on its way. I mean, it's a merry little distance. So that's just a touch of what you can do. It really does work remarkably like a digital camera these days. So that's much better than what we had before. And as an, an actual photographer myself, I am much happier with it. So get out there and play, experiment, set up some nice shots with free roam, or just use the good ones from the timetable, whatever you like, and go and have some fun with it, because I'm sure you will, and there's plenty of fun to be had. So if you've got any questions on how it works or what you can do or how it relates to cameras, just let me know in the comments down below. If this is helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And uh, yeah all good. Let me know what you think. See you later, everybody. Enjoy. Bye now. We played a game.